Just a gorgeous night. And finally, Carlene, <laughs> we can open the windows, let that cool air in. It was so hot earlier this week, but what a great way to start the weekend. I 120% agree with you, Marcella. That was the first thing I did this morning when I woke up. I was like, oh, cooler temperatures, had to open up the windows, and it was just a beautiful day. And as you mentioned, Marcella, we had a lot of heat earlier this week. We started this week with record-breaking temperatures for quite a few cities. And so now we're talking about shifting to seasonal temperatures. We had that today, and then even below seasonal by tomorrow. So taking a look at how we shaped up for today, it was a lot more comfortable than it has been recently. Recently. So we had daytime highs that were closer to seasonal, still a couple of degrees above, but hey, it's getting back in that direction. So we had some 80s that were popping up for the inland valleys. 86 degrees was the high today in Escondido, 85 degrees for Valley Center, the same for Ramona, 80 degrees in Miramar, and some 70s as well as 66 degrees popping up closer towards the coast for Del, uh, for Del Mar, as well as 102 for Borrego Springs. That was only one degree above average. Taking a look at those current temperatures, we have a a lot of 50s and 60s from the mountains to the coast. 65 degrees for downtown. Poway's at 59 degrees. 54 degrees for Ramona. Also the current temperature for Mount Laguna and for Julian. Still a warm night for the desert at 83. So we have wind speeds that are picking up and it's with an onshore flow. So we have wind speeds picking up into the teens currently for Julian. The same for Boulevard. Other than that, it's light or it's calm. And we're seeing that west of the mountains, five miles per hour currently for downtown. Gusts picking up and you're seeing that color indication. The desert stretching all the way towards Arizona has some gusts there picking up into the 30s. So 20s all the way to the 30s. And that's with a stronger onshore push. That's gonna keep going for the rest of tonight. So gusts up to 18 miles per hour for Boulevard as well as double digits for Julian and for Borrego Springs. So a trough of low pressure that is changing up our forecast and that's going to bring in a stronger onshore flow knocking that high towards the east it's going to nudge it in that direction so that dip in the jet stream will bring even stronger winds by tomorrow gusts into the 30s and 40s for the mountains as well as for the desert and then a little below seasonal with those temperatures by five to 10 degrees. That will be from the inland valleys all the way to the desert. The coast, you're gonna stay in the seasonal range. Not much of a fluctuation in temperatures as we go into next week. You're kind of seeing more of a zonal pattern. And so we'll just be in between systems. We'll still have a little bit of a dip in the jet stream, but a gradual warm up as we go into next week. And as I mentioned, wind speeds will be picking up. A breeze by tomorrow afternoon around 1.30, you're seeing some teens popping up with those gusts, and that would be for Fallbrook as well as for Ramona. So we're having the highs in the 70s next couple of days, below average inland valleys by tomorrow, back into the 80s by Sunday, and that will go all the way into next week. 70s for tomorrow for the mountains, back into the 80s by Sunday. The desert, you get a break from triple digit heat for this weekend, but right back into it by next week, which Marcella, Final mm. week of mm. spring. We have the summer I solstice can't next Saturday. That. It's going by so quickly. That earlier <laughs> and I thought, my goodness, June 21st is yeah. coming around the corner. That's crazy. And then we'll be in July. This year is just uh, and then August, by. and then so New Year's. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be nice to get a fresh start. Yeah, looking ahead to New Year's already. Bye, Carlene.